All right, so we're getting settled in. All right, so good morning. My name is Brian, and this is Hadrian. And we're going to present a talk called Bet You Can't Pronounce It. I think you probably can, but it's just more dramatic that way. OK, so welcome to the wonderful world of weird sounds. Um, are you familiar with the IPA? Oh, there we go. OK, good. Very good. So let's look at the vowels in the IPA. Um, let's go, okay, I'm not gonna, yeah, so this is like the extended, extended, extended version of, yeah. Uh, when you look at languages in this, uh, in this part of uh, the world, European languages have a lot of vowels. The minimum uh, is, I think, two vowels, and there are languages in the Caucasus that have this, but most of them have this pattern, so for... Hello? Yes. Uh, does anybody know how to turn down the volume? Hello? Testing? One, two, three. Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, in this one, if you look at the Caucasus languages, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so uh, what you... Uh, Abkhaz, yes, Ubik, and uh, Circassian, but Circassian has three, actually, it's like, um, more or less, it's like the ah, it can be long, it can be short, so... Yeah, but the, the, the languages with two vowels, like in Australia, the vowels are actually, uh, they change depending on the surrounding consonants. So you can get U, E from E, uh, you know, the schwa will change. Okay, so you have all these sounds. You want to try saying them or shall we try? <laughs> huh? I don't know because I, I only know the E, the U, the U, uh, the U. Uh. Okay, hold on. Let's try. Go on. What? Sorry. Okay, so... It's not actually that complicated. It's um, yeah. it's e, u, e, u, e, 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 a. Sorry. Um, u, a, e, a, e, 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 e. E, e. Uh, what more? A, A, O, A, O, A, A, O, O. Okay, so, all right, thank you. So, okay, are we, uh, okay, so we're awake now. Uh, yes, so. Uh, Two vowel languages. Uh, there are you have. Are we were talking about Caucasian, Caucasian languages. Mandarin theoretically has two vowels, but I wouldn't. I don't want to talk about that because it's a controversial. I don't get attacked by Chinese people. Well, <laughs> no, no. It's a. Uh, it's and there's actually one more language that has two vowels like this. Is Aranda, which is from uh, Central Australia, uh, that has a and a uh as well. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, you have languages like Arabic, Inuit, and Aleut with uh, three vowels, four vowels. Um, this one, Arapaho, is very unique. It, has, it doesn't have ah. And it apparently lost the ah uh, a couple centuries ago. Uh, for the reason. Uh, Maori, typical five. Sorry. Uh, in North America, it's spoken in North America. It's on the plains. It's close to, I'm not sure exactly where, but it's, uh, it's within the vicinity of uh, where people speak Blackfoot and languages. It, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. What I mean, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's uh, it's an Algonquian, sorry, Algonquian language. Yeah, I've got a, my vocal cords are just waking up as well. Uh, Maori, yes. Uh, a rare one is Hopi, which has a, e, e, u, e, o. It's very strange. And there are languages like it's okay. There are languages like uh, Persian with uh, with o, o and a, e, e, o, u, as well. And this is a very rare one. Uh, I've never encountered a language like this. A e e e e u. Oh, let's check, check it. Oh, perfect. E R. Yeah. E R son. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, got that out of the way. And European languages mostly fall around somewhere on this range. The um, Polish and all that, Latin. Yeah, I think this is pretty common. Uh, African languages, interesting, like the ones like Igbo, there is a difference between the position of the tongue root 
So I can't pronounce it very well, but it's got something like uh, uh, the E and the I and uh, the A. Ah, and okay, I'm, I'm butchering it. But uh, they, there is a, a type of vowel harmony involving the position of the tongue, the tongue root, uh, in West African languages, and even in uh, even in Maasai on the east. Yeah. Uh, of course, you've got Finnish, which is of course uh, uh, very typically uh, Uralic, and Mandarin looks like this. If you um, if you classify each vowel as a separate vowel, it looks like that, and not two vowels. But um, a lot of the vowels in Mandarin are actually predictable based on the uh, the surrounding sounds. A lot of them, not all. Okay, so according to that, there is a theory which well, there is a theoretical Mandarin in the very beginning. It means that. Theoretically, you could say that Mandarin only has two vowels, which change according to the consonant feature uh, features around them. And it's the same thing that um, it's the same way that languages in Kakas are um, seen in terms of phonology, which means that they also have like two vowels, which change into like 20 allophones according to the um, consonants around them. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Sorry? What about vowels in French like? Nasal vowels. Nasal vowels. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's... The, the vowels that are here are not... Um, it's not... Okay. The thing is, uh, in French, there is a feature of a vowel. It's... The, the, um, the vowels here are not based on the other features like tones or, or nasality or stuff like that. It's only their quality according to the chart from here. Yeah, we're looking at. So it's only quality, if either they're front, back, close, open. So it's about system of them, not the other features. No, no, I, I'm saying this, it's other feature. There are different features of vowels, and we will get to that. Yeah. Okay. Shall we go next one? Yeah. All right. It's uh, yeah. We'll go to that uh, later on. Okay. So here we go. Consonants. Oh no! Wait. Then tones and the other features. Okay. So uh, we were talking about um, uh, before we finish with the vowels. Uh, also, uh, I think that the record for European languages is like Swedish or or probably Danish with it, or maybe Swedish will win, with its uh, uh, variety of vowels and vowel allophones. I do not know how to pronounce you know, half of them. Yeah, Swedish people, where are you? Yeah, so this is uh, interesting. But anyway, uh, going now we go to consonants. Uh, we'll talk about the vowels later on. Uh, you want to do that later on? Do us a slide? The secondary features, and we'll talk sure, about sure, later sure. on. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so this is the most, <laughs> most basic consonants that there are. Um, they are ba they are um, they are just charts according to the way or manner of pronunciation and the place where they are pronounced. So you have well by ways there are nasal stops, which means that you close um, either like lips or tongue. Um, there are fricatives, which means you get them close and you pronounce the sound. Um, approximants, which you well, which is also closing, but not as strict as fricative um, consonants. Taps, flaps are when your tongue or, well, mostly tongue, goes against some part of your mouth. Um, trills, well, it's like rrr in Spanish. Mm. Lateral ones are on the side of the mouth. So on the, if, if it comes to place of articulation, there is a bilabial, which means uh, your lips are touching. Labial dental, which means your teeth and um, lips are touching. Lingual labial, which means that your, to uh, your tongue is touching your lips. Dental uh, is your teeth. Alveolar, which means the upper roof or of your mouth, the front part. Um, post alveolar is a little, back in the, uh, a little more back. Retroflex are when your tongue goes up to the... Like, imagine you go, your uh, tongue goes up to the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say they are also called cerebral cerebral ones. It comes from the same thing from Latin. Um, palatal, which means the place on the back your, of your mouth on the roof, which means like ni shi stuff like that. Valar is uh, um, kg, the the place on the very back of your mouth where you can close it actually without the well. It's actually also part of the tongue, but it's not the tip of the tongue. Um, uvularis are more in are more in the back. Um, they sound like high, harsh, so stuff like that. 
epiglottal and pharyngeal. There's actually, there should be two charts there, or two uh, columns. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that later. And the glottal ones are the very deep vowels, the deep, deepest vowels, that, oh sorry, uh, consonants that you can say. So for example, ah, ha, stuff like that. Okay, so let's pronounce them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have some water for it. Yeah, go ahead. You need water for that. Okay. Okay, so they're also based on um, voiced and voiceless. So if it's if it, if there are if there are two, it means that the right one is voiced. So it would be like, hmm, ah, uh, okay, ma, ma. Ma, na, 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 nya, nya. Oh, sorry, na, na, nya, nya, ha, nga, nga. You could also say something like foreign girl, foreign girl nasal, like wa, wa, wa. You could also say glottal, ah, but it's just, it's just like vowel. Ba, 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 ba. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, lingual label, okay. Ta, da, ta, da, ta, da, kya, ya, ka, ga, ka, ga, ka, because I also say uh, voice one, ga, and a. This is a strange one, it's, it's like Arabic Hamza. Um, most of the time, if you say a vowel, it always, well, most of the time, it starts with actual consonants. It's, it's the little stop. Okay, thank you for tip. Most of the time when you say a vowel, it actually starts with a consonant, which is a little stop that you say uh, between vowels. For example, a, a, e, i, o, o. The stop is actually a consonant. And in some languages like Arabic, uh, some American languages, it's uh, a... Yes, it, it's a phonetic feature. Yeah, it's a phonetic feature, which means that they actually treat it phonetically in their system as a consonant and not and not as something that is part of the initial vowel. Okay, so sibilant fricatives. Ta, da, cha, ja, tra, dra, cha, ja. There are more of these, like, it's not all of the consonants that you can say because they can differ, like, slightly in their way, uh, or sorry, the, the place of articulation. So every, every language will have some really small features, which means that you really need to spend your time listening to the language if you really want to uh, learn its phonetics. Like, how do they differ from the other language, even though the sounds might be very, very similar? Okay, next is the pa, bwa. Okay, the, the non sibilant fricatives, which, me, which means that um, you say the fricative, like tsa, but it's followed um, it's not that strong, but it's followed as well by the, Afri uh, by the fricative sound. We'll get to that in a minute. Pa, ba, pa, ba, tha, da, cha, da, cha, ja, kya, ya, ka, ga. This one is a little bit more complicated because uh, IPA states that kh sound is actually a fric um, fricative, which means that the parts are not touching, but it's actually trill. Like yeah. you can have, um, yeah. you can have velar and a uvular trill. Velar would be like kh, and uvular trill would be kh. Yeah. While so, yeah, you wouldn't want to add. So in many uh, Native American languages, the k sound is is not only k, it's k, and in when you want to emphasize, it's k. So it's really, uh, you can hear the, the trill. Yeah. yeah, so fricatives would be more like h, h. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's say it's a, it's a what is it? non sibilant not fricative. So they would be like h and g, h, yeah. h, h. Yeah. <laughs> a cough. It's, it's, it's very similar to cough, but not that strong. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sa, za, sha, za, sha, za, sha, za. Fa va fa va tha za tha da fa va sha ra ra ya ya ha ga and it should be fricative yeah so it is like ha sorry ha ga ha ga 
ha ha and approximants wa va sorry wa va ra 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 palto will be like ya ya pa ga sorry pa ga ra ra and trills pa ba it's a funny one label label dental would be Okay. Fab. Wait. No, no, no. You can know you, this. Can you actually pronounce it? Brr. 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 Yeah. Brr. It's like this. Label. Yeah. Label by label trill. Again? Brr. Brr. Okay. okay. By Fa. Trill with your lips. Brr. Yeah, but it's dental as well, so it's v. Well, where are you at now? Oh, sorry. You're yeah, at yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, by label. Here, here. I have no idea how to do that. I think it's v, 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 v. Lingo that label. Tva, tva. <laughs> no language has it. Yeah, this is a. Ra, ra. Mm -hmm. Ra, ra. Yeah. And palatal. Ra, ra. And the valor actually would be what they consider fricative, so. Ra, ra. Ra, ra. Ra, ra. They are in some dialects of Arabic as well. Cha, ja. Cha, ja. Cha, ja, cha, gra, cha, gra. Cha, ja, cha, 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 ja, cha, ra, cha, ra, cha, la, cha, ra, ya, la, cha, 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 ja, ra, and lateral tap flip. It's in Japanese. Ra, ra, cha, sorry. Ya, ra, ra. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Ah, he jumped the flaps. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. There's one more line. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Do the flaps. Okay. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Ra, 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 ka, sorry, ka, ka. Okay, thank you. Right. Sorry? Oh, oh, yes. Okay, so non sibilant fricatives are the ones that are. Well, they basically have not. Uh, they are not. Um, for example, if you if your tongue should touch some uh, some part of your mouth, it's stop. If it doesn't touch it, um, there are kind of steps of not touching it. So you can be close or or uh, very very far away from the roof of your mouth or any other place. So if it touches it, it's stop. If it's touch it very very slightly, it's mm, it's actually fricative. Sorry, non sibilant fricative. If it touches it m m less, let's say, it's fricative, and, it's, if it, and if it only approximates the place of articulation, it's approximate. Yeah. Uh, you can think of it like this, like a sibilant is like a hiss, s sh, there'll be a, your, your tongue, the, the air actually goes through the tongue, s sh, that's a sibilant. If it goes through your lips and other parts of the mouth, then it's not a sibilant, I guess, f, v. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. The, yeah, you get <laughs> Sa? Mm -hmm. Sa. Okay. It's, it, it should be actually reversed. Like, this should be here to be closer to approximant. Yeah, but it's so, so, so. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, sorry. That was, sorry. The, what is it? Sa? Sa. Sa. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Sorry. Sa? Sa. Sa. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sa. Sa. Yeah. Yeah. Sa. Sa. Yeah. No, 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 no. The third from the. No, no, it's the dental yeah. fricative, which is tha, and this one is alveolar. Tha. So, okay. Slightly uh, back, further back, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the um, there are also other types of consonants, among which there's adjectives, which means that you 
close some part of your apparatus, uh, speech apparatus and you release the tension with very, very heavy pressure, which means and your lungs are not used in the process. Mm. So you would say like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be pa, ta, 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 ka, 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 ka. Afrocats would be pa, pa, ta, ta, cha, cha, ka, 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 ka. Uh, sorry? Pa? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think you can do that, no. I, I think you can. Pa. Oh goodness, you can. Okay, you can. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Pa, fa, ta, sa, sha, 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 ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Um, ha. I wouldn't attempt that, but yeah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Just, I wouldn't. It's tiring, actually. It's tiring. <laughs> Cha, 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 no, wait, cha, 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 I don't know if you can do this one. I, you, I don't think you can do a dental Wait, uh, wait, wait, cha, 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 cha. I think the most linguistically, the rarest sound, the most common one that you could yeah. potentially find is the, uh, Very, the alveolar uh, fricative, lateral fricative is, is the one you can find in some languages. The rest of them are a bit, I don't know. Uh, a lot of these sounds just don't exist because they're too hard to pronounce. I mean, don't exist in, uh, in actual languages because they're not practical. You cannot actually say them very, um, very quickly when you're speaking. Although there are languages which have sounds that for European ear would be really, really hard to pronounce. So. There is some, there is some, yes. yeah, very weird languages. Okay, um, sha, cha, sha, sha. And then you have clicks. Um, there are a couple of basic ones, although when you hear that, for example, in languages like uh, Zulu, I guess, mm. there are like 80 clicks, something around like that. I think like one, two, three, or four like main clicks with different types of uh, accompaniment. Yeah. So yeah, you could end up with a few combinations. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in those languages, clicks are actually um, there are other features on clicks which could mean that there are either like consonant clusters with clicks involved in them, or there are uh, nasal uh, features of the vowel after that, and many other things like that. But yeah, the basic clicks would be. Okay, go. Be patient with us. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the first thing that there are voice clicks, I don't think, I don't know, what do you think about that? Uh, I, I don't think, okay, I don't think clicks can be voice, but the, 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 the following vowel can be, uh, can be breathy or can be not, that's what, that's what I mean by voice or not voice. It's not, uh, it's not the actual click, but you could, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> ah. Ah, 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 ah. The nasal ones would be just with vowel after uh, that. That would be like, bit. Mwah, it's like, mwah, mwah. It's like you just add a, a nasal sound to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah, like in isi Yeah. And there are implosives, which means that the air actually is not going outside of the mouth, but inside. Yeah. So this is common in Vietnamese, for example, the word for, f uh, I can't remember what, but it's got words like ba, da. You, you actually breathe in the sounds uh, from, from, from your, you know, rather than expel them. Okay. Yeah, so ba, ba, da, 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 ba, 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 ba. A bit, a bit, yeah, you're doing it a little bit stronger, but yeah. So we have five we should, minutes, yeah, we don't so have we could, could proceed. Okay. You want to yeah, let's keep it, it's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so there are also particularly hard to pronounce um, or to define sounds, which means that they are pronounced in a couple different places, like Swedish pra, which actually, which incorporates different parts of your mouth, which you just, um, how would you describe it even? Pra. Um, 
I don't even know. It's, 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 exactly. It's, it's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's <laughs> difficult to describe how, which parts of the mouth are actually close to each other. It's like in many different places in your mouth, they just, the tongue gets um, closer to root and to, to your teeth, many different places. The same goes, the same goes with Chinese zh, which is something like, <laughs> something between English her, let's say French z, yes. and maybe even Ukrainian h. So it's like <laughs> Arabic bad. Um, most of the time it's pronounced as pharyngeal um, D, which means D with uh, your throat uh, kind of squished. Bo, yeah. But the thing is, um, there are dialects, I think very conservative dialects, which pronounce it as well, you have to say D, push it against your teeth so that you can gather um, air in your cheeks. And you also make it pharyngeal, which means you close your throat. And on top of that, you also push one of the sides of your, of your tongue into the cheek. So for, it would be something like blah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's insane. Okay. Palatal, palatal trill, uh, yeah, IPA. <laughs> Actually, it's stated that it, it, it is there. It wasn't a couple of yeah, years ago. Yeah. But yeah, it's something like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In Pirahan and Wadi, there is also um, double consonants, which is tr. And they no, have it's a, it, in, tr, tr, yeah. tr. So and it's, they it's have, a, you put your tongue on, you know, you, it's, it's an alveolar sound, you, or, or it can be dental. You put your tongue on the alveolar, sound, as you release it, tr, 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 tr. yeah, it's a sound. So they also, uh, I, they have words tr. like chicken is tr, tr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tr, tr. Tr. Mm -hmm. Uh, West African b, which is the, also g and b at the same time, bag, bag, big, bo, bo, stuff like that. Um, and this is this is sound that I think everyone can do, but it doesn't exist in IPA, which is the horse sound. Yeah, it's very yeah, it's ingressive fresh reflex click coming into palatal lateral percussive. It's it's too hard to describe, but yeah. And there are also percussives, which IPA um, in its standard form doesn't actually say they exist. But there's stuff like... Yeah. So this one would be alveolar fricative. And you can say them aggressively, which means uh, um, like in, in breathing. So stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, this, this sound actually exists in, in, I think in Vietnamese, like the word for one in some that is mok. Mok. You actually breathe air to your lips, uh, to, to the cheeks. Yeah, in, in certain, I think in some dialects of Vietnamese, they have Yeah, okay. we don't so, have time to go so Now, now to let's a quick look at all the, the clicks that can possibly exist in a real language. This is a real language. Hong? <laughs> yes. And these are just the click sounds. Uh, we just run quickly. Yeah, run we have them. no time. We don't have time. Them, so let's so. just skip through this. And, and there are also features of yeah. um, consonants of vowels, so you have like adjectives, as we already said, or labialas, which means that they, uh, you say like toi, toi, doi, palatalized tia, tia, dia, valorized ta, 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 ti, um, aspirated like in Chinese, to, to, k. Yeah, there are a lot of different features. Oh, yes. And yeah, then we have some words. Sure, Does sure. anyone dare to pronounce them? Yeah, Do we open this to the audience if you want to try to pronounce them. Anyone? One person? Yeah, they're going to be from uh, different first languages. One, first one is Armenian and then Slovak, Russian. Yeah. First one. It's Armenian. Kurtumjal. <laughs> I don't. Anyone else? You can choose which one, which, whichever we prefer. So, um, the second one, I guess, uh, Hrch Mtank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about that? Okay, so the thing is, it's very complicated. Uh, it's a very complicated concept uh, of vowels between consonants. Because, first thing, they might, might be not phon uh, phonological. There's difference between phonetical and phonological vowels. And also, it's very hard to define what vowel actually is, because if there is any space, and there always is space between two consonants, you could say that every of those consonants, between those consonants, there are always like unvoiced, very short vowels. So it's very hard to describe. Um, oh, 
with the rest. Okay, um, so, Hutchman Tank, Stwerts, Splunknutsie, Botterfs, no, wait, Botterfs Wait, Kont Predlogenie, Vsech Chufst, Vzor Jest Blagorodnie. Great, that was great, really. Sorry? Good try. Can I pronounce? The Russian was, yeah, 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 please. Бодрствовать, контрпредложение, всех чувств взор есть благороднее. And in Russian word, чувств, the first word, we don't read. It's okay, it's okay. So not чувств, but чувств. Okay, I don't know that. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and there should be something more. A little bit more, and then we we'll go for questions. I think very quickly. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, some Polish ones. Polish people. Yeah. <laughs> go on. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Anyone? Should I say it? <laughs> you? Yeah. Preferably non-Polish people. Okay. Can how many people would would want to try this? Okay. Three. Three. Okay. Can you do like two, and then? Yeah. Wzmarszczce, chaczcie dżownicy. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Parsk stworzył go bezwzględnie. <laughs> great. Anyone else? Just one person? Yeah. Wstrzynąc um, się Skiałk wśród szczupła. Good. It's pronounced wszcząwszy zgiełk wśród szczupła. Okay. Does anyone want to pronounce the last one? Yeah. Okay. Przestępstw Great, great, great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Yeah, I will just repeat them. Okay. This, yeah, can I? Uh, can you go back? I'm sorry. How do I go back? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Wzmarszcze, chacz dżownicy, parsk stworzył go bezwzględnie, wszczęszny zgiełk wśród źdźbła, przestępstw z trwiąży. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of consonants next to each other on yes. the last one. Yeah. Yeah, there are some very. Uh, uh, they're all similar in Dutch yeah, as well. All over the place. Yep. Angstschre, hengschreder, slechtschreifend, zachtschreidend. Oh, this is from me. What do you? Oh, uh, uh, okay. This is from uh, uh, from British Columbia. So. Yeah, it's an actual word. It's an actual word. Okay? It's a little boy. So there are actually no vowels. Uh, no, literally. Okay. Okay, the other one is a. Sorry. And the word for seal fat. Okay. It does, actually. And it's a real language. Yeah. Sorry? You, you don't, you don't. You don't. But, but, but these are the extreme words. Uh, many words have vowels, so it's just like in a stream of vowels, suddenly you have all the consonants and then it comes back. You know, it's like, it's like a, a, a very uh, crazy version of Polish. Like, so in, really in some languages, like uh, Osa, when they were whispering, it actually sounds something like. So yeah. So you can't really whisper, with, you know, without being uh, noticed. Yeah. Uh, there are more of them. Yeah. When is it? Um, okay. Would, who wants to try? Um, okay. This is ejective sounds. Uh, so elk, tirimale. Uh, the Georgian one I quite like tita. Yeah. Tita. It's quite s gentle. Uh, the Haida ones are very strong. as And I don't speak Armenian, so I don't. I will not attempt to do that. Uh, but, ah, there we go. Okay. Georgian kaba, kapsha. 
in uh, Abaza and uh, I don't know how to do the Georgian. Kro. 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 Okay. Kro. Okay. Uh, yeah, and in uh, Tlingit is uh, oh okay, it's Katesh, Katesh. Yeah, this ang and ah abi, abi in your piece. Uh, Upper Nakasha has uh, Santa, Santa. Okay, and uh, Tlondi from Navajo, Tlondi is outside. Okay. Explosive sounds, yeah. This is uh, the word, the Cambodian word, the Khmer word for three, by. Yeah. Uh, Mayan language has a lot of this, Balam, Dab, and Gaych, which I, yeah, hold on, deeper, Gaych. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I will not attempt to do yeah, this. Yeah, sure. Okay. No. <laughs> and also, the, these are some consonant clusters from uh, Isi Osa. That only it it wait. That only like onga daibeka kwasa onga. And in the in the next one, there's only one click that repeats all the time. So okay we're done does uh, anyone want to <laughs> does anyone want to say some tongue quizzes from your languages or languages that you speak yeah <laughs> um not a language that i really speak but a language that i studied before avar from the from dagestan oh uh, they have a tongue twister that is uh, <laughs> No, I actually have a comment, a question, what do you think? Yes. Uh, from my experience, it's more the clusters rather than the single sounds themselves. Like Polish, for example, mm. the sounds by themselves are quite easy. Yeah. So when you put them together, yeah. 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 Well, so what's your comment on that? Uh, yes, I think, I, I think, no, in, in a way you're right. So um, if you're talking about clicks, are always difficult, but consonants uh, can be very, yeah, you're right. They're simple consonants that strung together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's definitely that that definitely helps uh, make it more complicated. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, it's the same thing with every phonological feature. If if you have even tones, stuff like that. Yeah, there's on their own, they're very they're very easy actually to pronounce uh, in one word after I don't know a couple of tries even on the very beginning. But then you have like whole language based on tones. Then yeah. you need to really get them. Yeah. Well, okay. learn them. Yeah. This is uh, from my beautiful mother tongue Danish. Royal, 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 my flu. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else? That's really funny. Okay, maybe uh, there are not so specific tones like we have heard, but in Serbian uh, we also have some uh, difficulties. Uh, for instance, if there are too many uh, consonants, like for example, in the, in a short word krv, that means blood. So in this case, letter R uh, is replacement for a consonant. So it seems uh. also very complicated for foreigners. And also we have some letters like ch, uh, ch, j, j. So <laughs> sometimes also it's a little bit complicated. So like ch is like stronger version and ch is softer. So yeah. For example, chorba is a soup, uh, soup, and for example, chorich, ch, chorich is a soft version, something like this. Okay. Thank you for the information. Anyone else? We have a question from Slido. Mm, yes. uh, will the slides be made available afterwards? Yes. I'm sure a lot of people probably heard this one, a famous poem in Polish about a town called Szebrzeszyn. W Szebrzeszynie grząż brzmi w czcinie i Szebrzeszyn z tego słynie. Wogo pyta, panie grząszczu, po cóż pan tak brzęczy w gąszczu? Great. I'm sure I butchered it somehow. Yeah, it's a very famous one as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Any other questions? Before we, yeah. Well, uh, not a question, but if you want more crazy examples of yeah. uh, um, 
how do you say, uh, consonant clusters, there's a G origin. So even common words like uh, milk is uh, uh, north is chrdiloity. There are also words like mtrvetneli, uh, trainer, or even the best example is gvprtskvni. Uh, Apparently it's supposed to be one syllable, and I don't know how it's possible, but it means you peel us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. okay. I, yeah. Okay. What about uh, the Chinese Yes. Uh, well, my dialect, uh, we have like six or seven tones more than Mandarin, and all the tone change, the will, tones will change in a sentence. Yes. Yes. So, like to eat is chia, chia, like chir, it's a cognate. So, if you eat rice chir fan, chia pung, chia pung, the tone changes. And then, if you say uh, the word for rice, you say, uh, no, wait, no, that doesn't change. If you say like the word for uh, mouth, chui, right? The word for open is kui. To open your mouth is kui chui. The whole, the, the word goes down, it changes tones. The only the last word in the phrase in the phrase will stay the same. Everything else changes. Yeah, that's that's it. Yes, Mandarin doesn't do this, but we do this all the time. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick addition about Georgian. Uh, I don't know about Brskvni, uh, but uh, the Georgian national anthem has uh, the word Brskindeba, and it's supposed to be sung as only three syllables, like Shu Brskindeba. So yeah, there's that. No vowels inserted in the in between. That's interesting. Okay. okay. I think, I think, I think I we can. have. Yeah. Okay. So, um, any other questions? We're gonna have uh, one more minute, and yeah. Can you repeat the same? Oh yes, uh, sure. Hajan, please. It's um, <laughs> it's the pause will click, which is ah, uh, sorry, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. The whole sentence. I mean, this whole sentence. sentence. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing. This one. Last one. Yeah. 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 It, it's is it Mosa? Mosa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the famous one. Yeah. South sorry, Africa. sorry, is it South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They have two very similar clicks, which is ma and ma. Okay. I think we'll take the last uh, lateral. Last one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you give any examples of languages which have the yeah, I think. Some people find those difficult. Yeah, we should have done, thought about that as well. Yes, uh, we didn't have much time to do this, but it's a, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. uayo, yao, aoi, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Long clusters in Polynesian languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes it uh, complicated too. Yeah, okay. it's also in like Maori. I think so. I think in Maori, the New Zealand is called Aotearoa. And yeah, Aotearoa. 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 Mm -hmm. Aotearoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aotearoa. Um, yeah, there can can be as can they can be difficult as well in if you if you're speaking very quickly. But I would say they're re relatively easy to pronounce if you have like one word, and it's really weird because I think that I think that the script in which you read um, the pho phonetic well phonetic scripts in which you read um, words they actually influence kind of the way that you see the words. So let's say. I don't know how it works for Japanese, for example, but I imagine it could be even less of a problem to pronounce long strings of um, of vowels if the letters are. Yeah. It's it's partly why, for example, reading words in Latin script like ili li 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 is very hard. So yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, time's up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.